How to help doctors save a life using machine learning. You might have heard of machine learning and how it's used in many social media apps and streaming services, how it's used by banks and by various other big companies in the world. But how does machine learning actually work? And how can we use machine learning to help doctors save lives? We are first going to explain how machine learning works, and to do this, we are going to go back to something that you might already know, straight lines. A straight line is given by the equation y equals kx plus m, and if we choose different values for k and m, we get different straight lines. For this line, k equals 0 0.5 and m equals 2.5. Whereas for this line, k equals minus 1 and m equals 20. Just drawing straight lines with different k and m values can be interesting, but it doesn't really help us solve real world problems. So let's look at a practical example. Let's say that we own a grocery store and that we collect data on ice cream sales and how that relates to the weather, specifically on how the ice cream sales relates to the outside temperature. If we do this on just two different days, one hot summer's day and a day in the middle of winter, we are probably going to find that more ice cream was sold on the hot summer's day. If we then collect this data on each day during a full year, so that each day we record the amount of ice cream sold versus the average outside temperature, we might end up with something like this. We see a quite clear trend that we generally sell more ice cream on warmer days, but the sales still vary a bit day to day, also for days with almost the same outside temperature. Now that we have all this collected data, we can try to find a straight line that fits the data well. If we start with this line, the data fits not good at all. This is because according to the line, less ice cream is sold on warmer days, which we can see is not true. But if we now change the k and m values, we eventually get a straight line that fits the data quite well. We can also fit the data even better if we instead of using a straight line, y equals kx plus m, we use a slightly more complicated line like this one. Fitting a line to the data in this way is useful because now we can use this line to predict how much ice cream will be sold for any outside temperature. So, if the weather forecast for tomorrow says 18 degrees, for example, we can now predict how much ice cream will be sold tomorrow, like this. This example actually illustrates the very essence of machine learning. You collect some data from the real world, you fit a line to this data, and can then use the fitted line to make predictions and thus solve different real world problems. This line is in fact a simple example of a machine learning model. The machine learning models you encounter in your everyday life, in social media apps, streaming services and so on are more advanced, but the principle is exactly the same. So, now we know the essence of how machine learning works, but how can this actually be used to help doctors save lives? To understand this, we are first going to explain what happens when a patient comes to the hospital and complains about chest pain. Chest pain can be caused by many things and can be basically harmless, but it can also be caused by something very serious, a heart attack. And if someone has a heart attack, they need to get immediate care and treatment. So, when someone comes to the hospital with chest pain, a doctor needs to examine the patient and determine if they have a heart attack. To do this, the doctor uses a special device to create something called an ECG. The ECG is an image that shows the heart activity of the patient, and by carefully studying this ECG image, it's then possible to determine if the patient has a heart attack or not. Sometimes it can however be quite difficult to get this correct. Doctors are of course also human, and all humans sometimes make mistakes. So, if we had a machine learning model that automatically could predict the heart attack risk for any ECG, that could be used as a tool by doctors to help them make even fewer mistakes. What we want is thus a machine learning model that can predict the heart attack risk for any ECG, just like we could use our line to predict ice cream sales for any temperature in our previous example. 
To be able to do this, we then need a lot of data with ECGs and corresponding heart attack risk scores. Luckily, when a patient gets an ECG at a hospital, the ECG and the corresponding assessment by the doctor is often collected and stored in a database. This means that we have access to thousands or even millions of ECGs and their corresponding heart attack risk scores as predicted by different doctors. An ECG is an image and not just a single number like the temperature, but we can still conceptually illustrate an ECG as a point in the x-axis of a graph. ECGs which look similar does correspond to points which are close to each other on this x-axis. Any pair of ECG and corresponding heart attack risk score is thus a point in a graph, like this. And all the different ECG risk score pairs in the database are thus different points in this graph. This means that we have access to a lot of data points which we now can fit a machine learning model to, just like we did in the previous example of ice cream sales with its temperature where we fitted a line to the data. This machine learning model should be able to predict a heart attack risk score for any ECG and match the assessments made by the doctors for the collected ECGs. Since an ECG is an image, not just a single number, we need to use a more advanced machine learning model than in the ice cream example, but the principle is exactly the same as before. Specifically, we use something which is called a neural network. Just like the data fit was quite bad for some straight lines in the ice cream example, some neural networks will also fit this ECG data quite poorly. But just like we could adjust the K and M values of the straight line to get a better data fit before, there is also a way to improve the data fit of the neural network. Once we have fitted the neural network to the data, we can use the neural network to predict the heart attack risk for any new patient that comes to the hospital and gets an ECG, like this. For this particular patient, a low risk was predicted. For a different patient, the neural network could instead predict a high heart attack risk, like this. This could thus be used to help discover patients who have heart attacks so that they can get the necessary care, thus using machine learning to help doctors save lives. Thanks for watching.